Welcome back to the Outer Worlds, and as you can see, I figured out how to put my bloody gun away. Thank God. So yeah, we're on the outskirts of Edgewater. I've already forgotten the name of the place. What is it called? Edgewater. Yes, it is Edgewater. Oh, we fast travel to it. That's nice. What is this? Is it some sort of panel? Oh, it's off of there. Okay. So lots of like abandoned buildings and stuff on the exterior of Edgewater. What is this? Is ah, that's explosive. A marauder. Ha ha. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. <clears throat> Pardon me. I do know what it is, obviously, but um. Oh, sorry. I'm still trying to figure out some of the controls. Don't know why. How? What is like my hotkey for this? Do I just keep cycling through? I guess I do. Yeah. Which I think is it's similar to an another game, but I can't think of what it is. Oh, bugger! Ah, I need to start using my compass. Bugger off! Ooh! You can tell I've taken a break from playing because my fucking sensitivity is all over the place. Oh boy. Okay, so I need to uh, take cover. <laughs> I need to definitely start taking cover some more. Oh, I was kind of hoping it was single shot. I'm sure there's a single shot weapon in the game. They usually are. Yoink. Let's take the mining helmet. Rebuilt mining gear. So this is a different outfit to what I had before. Let's have a look at it. Um, oh, I keep on forgetting that I need to re-equip my weaponry. Uh, not my weaponry, my armor. So that I can boost myself up. Because it's only a free. I mean, I might be able to upgrade it. I also don't really like the outfit that I've got, to be fair. I'm not that big of a fan. So, what does this look like? Is that the... That's the rebuilt mining gear, so that's what I've just picked up. Oh. It's the same as what I had before. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, oh. Haha. -ha. We're now fully disguised as a marauder. Now, I wonder if... Because they recognised back in Edgewater that I was dressed as a marauder. I wonder if... Oh, that rhymed. I wonder if they recognised me. If I walk up to an actual marauder or whether they're going to attack me. Hello. Okay, no. He's going to attack me. Ooh, gonna hide over here. Ooh, dear. Da, 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 da. Stop it. He did a 360 into that. Okay. Okay. Oh, Nelly! Oh boy, I am not doing. I'm not doing good. <laughs> Maybe we should have stuck to the main quest for now. Is that like a level requirement on some of these quests? Because I didn't actually check. It doesn't look like there is. So we should be alright just doing any quest at any time. Ooh. To be fair, level requirements are only usually in games um, that are like MMOs, unless it's like The Witcher, which is an exception, I guess. Oh boy. Oh my god, he just popped round there and absolutely obliterated me. Holy Moses. Well, there's the first death. <laughs> A perfect example that this game is not actually easy. Unless I'm just an idiot. Maybe I should be dodging more, I don't know. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. I got scolded today for swearing in the library. Swear, swearing in the library. Be there or be square, mofo. Right. Hold still. <laughs> Didn't really go to plan, but it'll do. Oh my god, I'm dead already! What is going on? 
I'm just getting like obliterated. Maybe I should come back later. I feel like I might need to be a higher level to be fighting Marauders. But there's no like, um, there's no like, I don't know how to explain it, but like when you play Borderlands, for example, and it'll tell you a enemy's level so that you know whether you should be in that area. There's no sort of display for that. So I don't know, I don't know if I am safe doing this or not. We'll try one more time. I mean, there's a dude there that I think is probably contributing to me slipping up. Right, there's all of them alerted. So if I just sort of... Let's get the high ground. Here we go. We will get to the high ground. Oh my god! The high ground's no good because they're up here as well. Right, that's fine. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, no, I've got the gear on. Oh my god, they followed me. They fucking followed me. I'm definitely not meant to be here yet. But we're pushing through. As you do. I could use vats, to be fair. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, that definitely helped. Oh my god. I'm gonna hope that I don't get attacked from behind. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, I haven't alerted those marauders. Oh my god, I think I damaged myself then. Okay, one more. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. I can see that low damage weapons aren't effective against heavy armor, but I've not got any other weapons. There we go, I've done it. Holy shit. Oh, I can't save. Oh. Oh dear god. I tell you what though, got a lot of XP from that. We've got a trip blade. A two-handed melee weapon. We can carry that. I don't know how much I'll use it, but we'll take it with us. Uh, is that heavy ammo? I would assume so. Okay. Can we... We can save now, thank god. <laughs> Oh, that was awful. That was so bad. Let us roll. So the community centre. This is where we've got to get the medicine from. I am hoping that... I mean, there's going to be people in there. I was going to say I'm hoping that there's nobody inside, but there's going to be. We're going to see if we can find a side way in. What is this? There's like a little Borderlands... <laughs> a little Borderlands loot box there. A little loot crate. Oh, look, there's loads of them. I don't know what these things are, but I'm picking them up. Because I am a hoarder. I wonder if you can buy a house in this game. Let's go through the back door. Emerald Vale Community Centre. That answered my question from earlier. Are we in the Emerald Vale? I do kind of feel like the loading screens um, are not the best loading screens I've ever seen in a video game. Let's just put it that way. I feel like this game should have kind of like Fable 3 style loading screens. That's just because I like the Fable 3 loading screens. They should be in every game. Oh, sliced bread. I wonder if we can eat it. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Boom. It gives us like little boosts. Adreno, brilliant. Okay. Aha, a frozen dinner. Dinner. Maybe there's nobody in here? We've discovered a vending machine, okay. 
Face the freedom with space's choice. So I'm guessing this is where we can, yeah, this is where we can buy food and stuff, okay. Um, oh god, and it all does different things. Uh, can we buy some Adreno? Um, we've got 76, so we can buy one. Oh no, we can buy two. There we go. I'm just blind. So we can also buy weapons from vending machines. Low level weapons by the looks of it, yeah. Um, ammo. Does that say Vulcan on it? It does. <laughs> the brand. Then we've got outfits. Okay. That's pretty cool. We can come and buy some outfits if we want. I've got a feeling we're probably going to be able to upgrade the stuff we've got or find decent stuff. That's usually the case with these games. Okay. Thought I'd try. Okay, there's enemies in here, because they popped up on my radar. I forget that it's up there. And I think there's one in here. Hacking and picking locks. Okay, your hacking and lockpick skills help you get in place to bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. Okay. So basically the same as a Bethesda game. I need 14 for that and 14 for that, so how am I going to get in? Mm, I'm going to guess I need a key. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. How do I use a bypass shunt? That's what I would like to know. Uh, item repair. I don't know what it was telling me that for. Can I use my bypass shunt, please? Complex passwords are uh, a security risk difficult to remember. Uh, tool used to hack computers. So I can't use it on that. Is there... Oh, maybe it's that there. That's probably it, actually. Uh, there's no side door, either. Right, let's keep looking around. Oh, that's bad. Oh, it's got like a little thing in it. Like a little rad roach thing. Oh, there's also a computer there, I think. Uh, a mag pick. Ha ha! Now that is something to do with this, isn't it? Oh, come on. Uh, tool used to pick locks. Stealing is not the answer. Stealing is the question. The answer is yes. I'm guessing you still need to be... Oh, God. You still need to be a high enough level to at least access the lock. That's what I'm getting from this. So, I don't know if I'm able to do anything inside of this place or not, but maybe we should go back through the front door. Oh, look. Hello. Surprise. It's me. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Hacking is now 25, so we can do stuff. Let's get our medical up as well. I hadn't noticed that there was an option for medical, to be fair. Uh, have we got anything for points? At perks? No? Okay. It looks like it's probably going to be the same as Fallout, where you get a perk every two levels. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Just took it. Just took it immediately. Immediately. Right, let's go inside. Let us hack. Wait, what? I upgraded it to 25. Didn't I? I am very confused. Look, hacking. Or, oh. See, it says in brackets 21. And that's... Oh my god, I've upgraded the wrong fucking skill. I that ammo low. <laughs> right, what about the other door, like the front door? If all else fail, if I <laughs> if all else fails, we'll go through there. We might have to come back to this place though, at a later date once we've leveled up again. Which I kind of don't mind because it's like a nice learning experience. Um, 
Oh, hello. I don't know what this little fellow is. An antique saber. Lovely antique saber. Um. Oh look, we've got more precious things. Pet pills. Just take everything. Take absolutely everything. I wonder if there's some kind of like melee attack that I can do. No. Just the same as a normal attack, really. Yoink. 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 Now, what was that that I just picked up? Uh. Was that it? Toss ball card, Kyle. Oh. It's just some kind of collectible that I'm guessing I can sell, maybe? Yeah, it's in junk, so... I would assume that I can. I can go ahead and sell it if I please. Ooh, madam. I'm actually doing more damage with a pistol now. I mean, I'm only doing five more damage, but, you know, it's better than none. I guess that's from me levelling up. Some bit cartridges. I can actually hack this. Aha, and there's no fucking stupid hacking mini game. Even better. Now I love this game even, oh, even more. Oh, someone was shooting me from behind. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. It looks like also distance has some kind of weight on whether, like, the damage you do. If that makes any sense. So, like, the closer you are, the more damage you do, which again is something that's brilliant in video games, but I never fucking remember. Okay. We're running out of people to kill. Lovely. <laughs> what have we got over here? Bit cartridges, another bypass shunt. We've got a loo. Some poor workers, they didn't stand a chance, did they? Plenty of light ammo, which I'm not going to be complaining about. Somebody in here. No, there ain't. What room is this? Oh, okay, we're on the other side. Maybe we can get through there. Messages? Okay, there's some messages. You might be able to pick up some kind of quest. No? Okay. It's always worth a shot. I always check things like that because back playing Skyrim... Oh, that's just cost me some of that. Riot control gear, though. Hello. Back playing Skyrim when you used to be able to collect quests from picking up books... That has always made me, like, check everything. <laughs> oh, okay. And it just six. Very nice. Okay, I like that quite a bit. Pick up right control armor. Son of shotgun. Even nicer. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, I keep on pressing B to open that because it feels like... <laughs> it feels like I'm playing a different version of Fallout. Ha 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 ha, the shotgun. Oh! We can just open doors like that. I had no idea. I could have just clicked this. Fucking hell. <laughs> wow. Oh, and we picked up a key at some point. I didn't even know. We're always discovering new things. We've picked up a stun baton. we picked up a new pistol. Oh. If you ever see me crouch, then that's why. I wonder if we can actually change the controls to that. Controls. Button layout. Legacy. What is legacy based on? Oh, no, it just swaps the bumpers. Bumper jumper. No, thank you. 
Let's just go back to the standard. Thank you very much, Obsidian. Obsidian. Another revolver. Hello. I was I was meant to actually change my revolver there, but I didn't. 122 damage per second. Yes, please. Oh! Oh my God! It's automatic. Oh, it's burst. Even better. It looks amazing as well. Got all of a game that has amazing looking guns. Right, there we go. We've got whatever that was called. Fucking Amphrax or whatever he wanted me to get him. Oh, hello. Dervish Mist and some pet pills. Right, we've got the upstairs to explore. I want to go upstairs and see what there is upstairs. And then we'll take the medicine back to him. Because there's somebody up here. Hello. Okay, it's not a bad shotgun. And, yeah, that looked like the last guy. I can definitely see me favouriting the assault rifle. Because it seems like it does the most damage. Oh ho ho! I don't know what that was, but it looked like some kind of skill book. Like a skill computer pad. A skill data pad. Oh, Macapul juice. Or Macapul juice. I don't know. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go speak to. Oh god, who are we going to give it to? I think it was the woman. The woman. Unless uh, what's his face is going to suddenly whip out an amazing idea out of nowhere. Wentzworth cigarettes. Wentzworth cigarettes. Sorry. I don't know what's going on. The joys of doing a side quest. Um, I saw... While, while trying to look for a thumbnail for the second video, I saw an article called... Um, Outer Worlds... Uh, what were it? It were like... Oh, I can't remember it word by word, but it was something along the lines of like... Provides amazing... Storytelling with lacklustre of adventures. So, like, apparently, it's it's teeming with. I didn't go into detail with it, but it is something that I've heard said about it. To be fair, is that it's teeming with life, um, but as the article says, clearly the actual quests aren't that you know amazing. I would assume it's just go here, shoot these people, grab this thing, and take it to this person, or escort this person here while shooting these things. Or, you know, like, along the lines of that. Which, to be fair, is exactly how Borderlands is. So, I don't think people can necessarily complain about it. I am noticing a couple of frame rate drops, though. But the game is fresh out. Uh, we've got a vending machine. Ooh, hello. That's going to cost us two tings, but that's fine. Ooh, okay. Something on the balcony. What have we got in here? Nothing to pick up. Oh. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. Oh, and I think we just got our shunts back. Which is kind of cool. Ah ha ha ha! We've got another collectible. Some energy cells. Some heavy ammo. What have we got here? A revolver, mag pick. And that looks like everything. I've got some decent loot from that. Ow! I keep on forgetting that there's like no uh, low gravity. <laughs> oh dear. I do think that the loading screens are particularly long. That's definitely a hindrance so far. I'm just like throwing out like my immediate opinions of this game because um, I don't know I don't want it to seem like I'm completely in love with the game or I completely fucking hate it or something. I want to be honest about it just in case you're unsure as to whether you want to buy it. There you go. <laughs> A wrapped it on biological overview. See, the loading screen shouldn't still be on. Because it's not loading a massive area. Um, this is why I sometimes feel like the game feels a little bit cheap. 
it kind of feels like what We Happy Few should have been. Because that game is a fucking state, but if it was good and like made properly and utilised the money it was given, I imagine it would turn out like this game. Oh god, right, we'll go give it to the woman. I've got some time. I bet you have. I've got that medicine you were after. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Um. Oh. Oh. It's not that simple. You want my silence? You're going to have to buy it. And there it is. The reason I don't like depending on a criminal. I kept a little contingency fee in case you decided to shake me down. Hmm, I thought you did. I'm curious, what are you going to give that- uh, Who are you going to give that medicine to? Oh, we got some bit cartridges. Somebody deserving. 300?! Silas, on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia, seeing how she's around people all the time. Anybody in the sick room? Okay. Silas. Silas, Silas, Silas. Oh, that's the dude that I'm collecting the money for. Okay. I thought it was the doctor, and I was like, haha, I'm in luck. Because he can now pay his fees. Because he can just trade the uh, the stuff. So we can go speak to the dude in charge. Yeah, we got told that he was up there. Oh, look. Oh, my God, you can see a spaceship. <laughs> just in the sky for the sake of things. Um, hello. What is this? Mr. Thompson. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna go speak to Mr. Thompson. So yeah. Don't make me lick your helmet, Mr. Yellow Face. Oh, there's a fucking weapon wheel. <laughs> you just hold down Y and there's a bloody weapon wheel. Oh my god. I don't think I was told that. Let's go see Mr. Thompson. Don't worry, I will hand in the Silas mission at some point. I like to try and do things as efficiently as possible, so I'll usually go around, like, handing in all at once. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's... Oh, wait. One minute. <laughs> sorry. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What is this? No. Uh, UI. So long to fix the answers technical don't apologize just try using small words for me the cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna which isn't what we've got mr thompson i think there's someone here to see you yes focus miss holcomb you and i are still talking let's start over walk me through seems we've got a guest yes i'm Wait interrupting you i do wish you'd spoken up i do apologize I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. It's alright. It's alright. You must be the town boss. I'm Lee Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. That's because I don't work for you. So... Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Oh. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. My ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once oh. their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. When you say mostly abandoned, what exactly do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live... Oh my god. Um, 
I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. Will I? The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Oh, so they'll just come here. Why? Hedgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Okay. I've seen Edgewater. I don't blame those workers for walking out. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. You're a git. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop uh -huh. by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Ah, uh, all right, fine. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Okay, good. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, sure. I don't see why not. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Yes, let's get going. I quite like this game, <laughs> which I keep pointing out, but it's pretty fucking cool, isn't it? It's a shame that I can't have like a toggleable hood so that when I put my gun away like the hood disappears. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay, that's a good idea actually. Let's get out of here. 